sound the sound okay? Fantastic. All right. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for creating this experience with me today. We're all the co-creators. So today we're going to be entering the field of awareness through the pathway of sound and vibration. Specifically, we'll be exploring the experience of the chakras, the energy centers of the subtle body. This is an experiment, so the real compass is your own experience, no matter what information is offered from me. In our experiment, we will extend to enter and intimately connect with the chakras. Each of the cells of our body is an extremely strong sound resonator. And as we enter the energy and the sound and vibrate that sound in our own body, this can help us to deepen our awareness of awareness. It can help us to hold and deepen our capacity to be with spaciousness, energy, and light. So I invite everybody now, if you're not already doing so, to just Allow your body to be at ease and gently close your eyes and become aware of awareness as you listen to the information that is going to prepare us for our experiment. Different traditions offer us different configurations of the chakras, but today we'll be working with the chakra system first written about in the Hindu text, the Upanishads. We will work with seven basic chakras plus the soul star point over the top of the head. Many other chakras have been identified. Some traditions say that we have over 360. But today we'll focus on those eight, although your experience may take you elsewhere to other finer, more subtle chakras in your own body. The chakras are located and activate and become operative within the subtle bodies which are composed of finer and finer frequencies of energy and these subtle bodies interpenetrate the physical body. The subtle body bodies nourish the physical body. The chakras are centers of energetic activity. They mediate and manage all the energy coming into the body as well as the energy that's already functioning in our bodies. They transmute higher frequency energies so that the body can use them for biological functioning. They also help us hold very high qualities and what the qualities that make up our human existence. Everything from the earth connection and the connection to the animal kingdom all the way to our connection to spirit and our essence. And all the information given today, offered today, is not only from the ancient scriptures, but is beginning gradually to be affirmed by modern science. So once again, I invite everyone to go in, tune into your inner awareness, gently close your eyes. We'll now go through the sequence that we'll be doing when we enter the chakra experience itself. You can listen to these instructions and these guidelines. We'll be taking the help of some recordings today we will work for a specific, with a specific tone for each chakra. One of the CDs we are using has created a sound world, a sound capsule for each chakra. And each sound capsule contains voices, instruments, sounds of nature, sounds of the earth elements, and singing bowls. First, you'll be hearing a musical improvisation, which will acquaint you with the tones that we'll be using. Then we'll go into the sound capsule for each chakra. When you're in the sound capsule, you can allow yourself to travel back and forth between sounding and listening, whatever feels energetically right for you. And as we reach the chakra above the head, you'll be hearing Om chanted, and there will be another musical improvisation then we'll be meditating, and then there'll be an opportunity to share our experiences. In the period of silence between the chakra tones, allow yourself to rest and metabolize the sound and energy that you are experiencing.
So now I'm going to go through the chakras for us, just as a guide. Once again, gently close your eyes and focus on your body, allowing your body to be at ease. At the base of the spine, we have the Muladhara Chakra, connected to the earth element, vitality, life force. At the level of the sacrum, we have the Svadhisthana Chakra, the water element, creativity, sexuality, sensation, and emotion. At the solar plexus, we have the Manipura Chakra, the fire element, willpower, and digestive fire. At the level of the heart, we have the Anahata Chakra, the element of air and wind, the light of the soul, love, and compassion. At the throat level, we have the Vishuddha Chakra, the element of ether, speech, poetry, eloquence, creativity, between the eyebrows, we have the Ajna Chakra, unity, oneness, imagination, intuition, and wisdom. At the crown of the head, we have the Sahasrar, our true essence, alignment with the universe, the integration of the physical and the spiritual. And above the head, we have the soul star point, building the body of light. Before we begin, I'd like to offer you another guideline for holding this experience, and that is holding the pairs of opposites. On the one hand, we have the location of each chakra, and that may be of service to you. But I also invite you to surrender and let go if you want to let go of the frame of where any one of these chakras is actually located. That will allow your experience to become freer. So finally, before we enter the experience now, we're going to stay at the level of knowledge and information. I'll have a little bit more information about the world of sound and vibration, which will help you prepare. Once again, tune into your awareness. From electrons spinning around the nucleus of an atom, all the way to planets spinning through the galaxies, everything is in a state of vibration. Everything is in movement. Vibration is the force that creates and sustains all life. And everything that is vibrating emits a sound. Scientists have been able to record the sound of a rose opening. It sounds like a distant organ. The great Sufi teacher Hazrat Inayat Khan has said, what makes us feel drawn to music is that our whole being is music, our mind and our body, the nature in which we live the nature that has made us, all that is beneath and around us. It is all music. We are close to all this music and live and move and have our being in music. In utero, sound and vibration are literally what is responsible for our growth. The vibrations of our mother's voice send energy to the fetus, fostering our development. The fetus reacts to the mother's voice and to external sounds as early as four and a half months before birth. After birth, infants respond to music they have heard while in utero, not to music they have not yet heard. The body is a sounding chamber. External sounds and vibrations enter us not just through the ears, but through the skin, bones, and hair as well. And inside our being, we live in a complex, vibratory world. Each thought we have is a vibration whose quality and energy affect our every cell. Also, the words and sounds we create vibrate in our every cell as well. Today, we will be experimenting with consciously using our own voice, a practice called toning. Even though beneficial vibrations outside of us such as music, the sounds of nature, the sounds of a soothing, loving voice can benefit us. The most powerful and beneficial vibrations that we can experience come from our own voice. It is our instrument. Our own voice releases power in the body. So right now we're going to do a little bit of a warm up. 
I invite you all to stay relaxed in the body and just place your hands on your jaw. Take a nice breath and just say, ah. Ah. Massage the jaw a little bit and allow it to relax. And even as you say, ah, just feel those sounds vibrating within your own body. Ah, and make whatever, make whatever sound feels soothing to you right now, just to continue relaxing. Ah, ah, ah. Allow yourself to begin to hum. Feel the vibration going through your body. And now chew with the hum. Just notice how the sound resonates through different parts of your being. And when you're ready, open into an ah, a tone of ah. yourself to stay connected to those vibrations already beginning in your own body. And now we'll be entering the chakra experience.
Don't worry about saving these songs. And if any one of our instruments breaks, it doesn't matter. We have fallen into the place where everything is music. The strumming and the flute notes rise into the atmosphere, and even if the whole world's harp should burn up, there will still be hidden instruments playing. So the candle flickers and goes out. We have a piece of flint and a spark. This singing art is sea foam. Its graceful movements come from a pearl somewhere on the ocean floor. Poems reach up like spindrift and the edge of driftwood along the beach, wanting. They derive from a slow and powerful root that we cannot see. Stop the words now. Open the window in the center of your chest and let the spirits fly in and out. Thank you very much for co-creating this experience with me. And I'd like to open it up if anyone has anything to share. I wanted to thank you for putting this program together um, and uh, to say that um, especially as we were getting to the higher notes that I could really feel my the top of my head just tingling and very happy to be in that sound and making those sounds and thank you so much having the experience of, um, especially with low notes, where the sound was resonating, I could bring it all the way up into my nose or in my palate or in my throat. And when I brought it down here, I could um, more, almost more feel it than hear it. It's sort of this big, almost like this soft kind of space. Thank you, Patricia. <laughs> I didn't, I did not make that many sounds, but that's okay. Um, I was still vibrating and I felt like everyone else was vibrating. <laughs> and when you said, more or less you said go with where you need to go with the chakras, um, I felt my belly button coming to my hand. It just grew <laughs> into expansiveness. And um, this was an incredible release for me on a very deep level. Thank you. Um. I really love the um, immediate vibrational experience in the body from the beginning. And then um, it was really a delight to find uh, sounds coming for each chakra um, out of uh, someplace beyond consciousness. The uh, sound would come and um, the a support for the experience of the depth of presence with each sound was really quite spectacular. I too just love the physical sensation of feeling the vibration and it's still continuing my body continues to vibrate and it comes to me that you know 
since we have this capacity, we rarely use it as a way to teach us that vibration is in everything and is everywhere. And it was like a great lesson to experientially feel what is happening on very subtle levels all the time, but just to, you know, exaggerate that through the voice. And that I sort of leave with feeling I want to be careful every sound I make, every every word I use, because just doing this, um, I'm aware that, you know, um, they, it has power. That's a beautiful practice, and sound work can increase our awareness of the quality and the vibration of whatever we think, whatever we say. And there have been some absolutely dramatic studies done um, with spending much more time with sounding to alleviate medical conditions. And there was one study where two women each had a breast cancer cyst, and they toned for two and a half hours a day for one month. And they went in and did another scan, and one of the tumors had completely disappeared. They saw the other one. When they went in, it had dried up completely. And that was the only thing that was changed. And this uh, wild and crazy guy, Fabian Mamon, who's an acupuncturist and a musician, did these studies in Paris uh, where he introduced different sounds onto uh, microscopic plates containing cancer cells and healthy cells. And he has pictures of after 8 to 20 minutes of sounding with the voice, with various instruments, the cancer cells explode and the healthy cells only become healthier because cancer cells are thought to inhabit a vibration that is very different from healthy cells. So it, it is a metaphor and an actuality of returning to harmony in the body. So. Yeah, I could really feel um, the different health, you know, whatever of my different chakras, you know, some of them would just like hit the sound and they could go on forever and some of them it would like kind of be hard to find and you know it's very interesting the just the variety of capacity in each sound and uh, I enjoyed that thank you thank you once again for this what was truly an experiment because we're all going to experience it a little differently I want to do a little bit of crediting the um, to two CDs are recorded by sound healer Jonathan Goldman and the poem was Rumi Thank you very much.